Hi, I'm Newton Chatta with DLA Public Affairs, and this is the DLA Wrap. This is the program where you get to learn more about DLA people and DLA programs on a more personal level. Today, my special guest is Eamon Knights, who's with DLA Energy, and he's Lead Tech Quality Business Process Analyst. Hi, Eamon, how are you today? Fine, thank you. So nice to see you today. Thank you so much for joining me. My first question for you is, tell me where are you from and give me a little bit about your background. I was born in London, in England. My family is actually from the West Indies. My father is Guyanese, Guyana, South America, and a mother from Trinidad. And how long have you been with DLA and how did you end up with this agency? I started in, I guess it was December 1991. So that makes about 32 years. I was basically, working as a biochemist in the commercial industry and I got a position as a chemist in the energy. Can you describe your current job to me? Well we work with EBS, that the acquisition system and the realm that we kind of oversee is considered the tech quality region which includes material master and some other processes which work alongside with that. And what has kept you with DLA all these years? Really you would say opportunities because you can get different position and work in a different region. And that's a real good benefit with this organization. You have that opportunity. Excellent. And your job sounds like, you know, it could be a little stressful at times. What do you do to help relieve the stress? Well, my pastimes include mainly three things, martial arts, ballroom dancing, and playing the violin. And you also do some photography. Yes, that is true. I do a lot of photography, <laughs> actually. And is there any kind of common thread between martial arts, ballroom dancing, um, violin, and even photography? You can say there's an artistic value in all three, but, but between martial arts and dance, it's movement able to learn how to move your body, because we take that for granted. Most of us may have problems dancing it's because we don't know how to use our body and how to control it. We just kind of lumber along in certain aspects. So, do you compete? Yes, I do. I do compete um, nationally and sometimes internationally. And how long have you been doing ballroom dancing, and how did you happen to, to get into that? Is it called a sport? This aspect is a sport. Okay, it can be done as sport or socially or just something to keep you fit. I actually started by chance actually in Japan when I was working at DCMDI. So in Japan I took some classes there just to take up some time. And what, what are some of the dances that you really like to perform? It will be samba, paso doble, jive. But the one I actually like the most, which would be more of a social dance, would be salsa. It's to me, it's easier. And what does it take to become a competitive dancer? I would say in dance, when you want to achieve that level, there's a lot of discipline and being focused and be able to commit time and balance your time. And does doing these artistic hobbies, pastimes, does that help you um, in your day job at all? Actually, it, it has. Well, as a dancer, you now have to perform in front of judges and a lot of people. So when you walk on that floor, you walk in as someone else and you have to present yourself as being very confident in that arena. And when you do presentations, you have to do the same thing. And in a sense, you have to be someone who actually knows your work and that field of work that you're gonna present. It's basically the same kind of thing, just a different venue. Can you tell me about some of the competitions you've won? Oh, the last one was gumbo. That one was actually in New Orleans, of course, gumbo. And that was fun because we did, were able to dance with two different groups of people. Some were international and so forth, but we kind of walked away with two titles, one in WDSF Senior One Champions and um, USA Dance Senior One Champions, which was nice. Eamon, I'm so excited you're here with me today. What dance are you going to show me first? I will show you the jive. It's really a swing-based dance, so it should be a lot of fun. Okay, let's see it. Okay. We start with a rock step.
And so that's something you can actually have as a separate dance. Because the other part would be with, with your partner. So you basically be dancing together with most of those motions. Eamon, thank you so much. I really appreciate you being on the show today. Um, and I'm very impressed with your skill and your talent. And I want to thank all of you for joining us on the DLA Wrap.